Hey guys, this is an update on the Redditor stuck in a cult video that I made not too long ago. That video got a lot of views, so I feel like I owe it to you to make an update. I just don't want to leave you on the edge. So a lot of new information has come forward, and I think we're getting closer to solving this, and I think you'll find a lot of this interesting. So before I start, I just want to say, you might have noticed I'm not reading off a script like I normally do. I just feel like the best way to communicate everything here is just speaking naturally. However, I am reading off of bullet points that I made just so I know uh, what order to go down things for this. So, uh, I'm going to start with just telling you what happened on Isaiah's account since my last video, and then I'll move on to some of the more interesting stuff. So Isaiah made a number of posts. One of the more notable ones was titled, How Can I Post a Video? Thank you. And then later he posted a video titled, Old Video. So this is the video that he posted. As you can see here, it kind of just looks like an old VHS tape, but the beginning of the video starts out with just music and shots of people dancing. Sing along. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be people on the cult or what, but this is what we're seeing. Just before two minutes, it cuts to some kind of travel guide or documentary of Japan. Now we'd like to introduce you to Tokyo, the capital of Japan. So two other people that are also investigating this believe this video is fake because it shows some locations that are outside of Japan, which include Fiji and South Korea. So this would make this whole thing seem like more of a hoax because this fake video kind of just came out of nowhere like this. Isaiah also posted this picture right here, which he claimed is a picture of his mother, and then he deleted it shortly afterward for a reason I don't know. I did a reverse image search on the picture, and it came up with nothing, so I don't know where this image came from. So I guess we could say that this is evidence for this whole thing being true. Some other information that we know about the current state of Isaiah is that apparently Isaiah escaped the cult somehow, how, I have no idea. And I also have a screenshot of a text message between Isaiah and I think someone on Discord. Okay, so here's where things get interesting. My personal belief right now is that the whole Isaiah just made this account situation is a hoax. And I think I might know who's behind it, but I'm not going to say anything about this person. I won't say their name. I will try to reveal as little information about them as possible because one, I could always be wrong. And two, I just don't think I should be making all that info public for their sake. So after my initial video, one particular person made a very big deal over the video. They wanted me to take it down. They were, they were saying a lot of stuff. They, they made like, to me, it seemed like they made a much bigger deal out of this than most other people that were in the Discord group at the time. This person, I also believe, is the person who is behind the whole Isaiah hoax, is, is what I believe. Once again, I don't know this for a fact, but this is what it seems like to me. And based off the evidence that we have so far, there are a few other people from other Discord groups that agree with me on this. So here's the evidence that we have. First, I'm going to start with just an anecdote that someone on Discord told me about this person. They said, With blank, they're inconsistent. They claim to have information regarding Isaiah's Troy identity one minute, then say they don't and have no information the next. That's what makes over half of the blank group believe blank is the game master. And by game master, uh, one of the theories behind this is that this whole thing is an ARG, and GM, it just means game master, uh, which would be the person who is running the ARG, just so you know what that means. So one of the more interesting developments in this was that there was a post made by an account called Breaking of Bread, and this is what the post said. I'm an X12 Tribes member. This is my Reddit account that I get to talk to other X12 Tribe members. I'm honest about the problems in the 12 tribes, which is why I left, and I'm not so blinded by hate for them that I cannot also correct things that are not factual, so I do. There are many reasons why this fake troll, Isaiah slash blank, is not in the 12 tribes. They don't have multiple mothers, don't own pets, don't watch TV, don't rely on some kid to post soap online for money. They homeschool and have teachings on one's ethnicities, and many, many, many other reasons that were covered in the now closed Discord. 
Isaiah slash blank themselves run the other discord just to keep the story going and to throw everyone off their trail. The entire investigation into who slash what slash where Isaiah is was completely covered on a now disbanded discord. One that was not run by blank, and just by investigating Isaiah's accounts and commenters, it was 100% proven to be a blank from blank. They planned this story hoping to make it a big ARG because they were having a hard time doing their schoolwork since they game so much, and they thought making up a fake rape victim who lives in a real cult would be a fun, funny, cute, dramatic way to impress blank and secure themselves a seat at the university. The investigating discord asked them to issue an apology on the Isaiah page to the unsuspecting redditors who are trying to find this rape victim that doesn't exist. They thought about doing it after December slash January when they heard back about their blank early decision. Now that censor I'm talking about right there, I just censored out the name of a university that I don't want to reveal. Disgusting. When the actual investigating discord saw posts and discussions about young people and teens planning on visiting cults to see if they could find Isaiah, fly their drones over, etc., that was about the time they were figuring out that it was them. Blank didn't want their info turned over to the authorities, so they lied on discord, saying that they were a rape crisis counselor. They lied saying they were getting him out next week, back in October, that he was flying to a place in Florida, that he was getting picked up by someone in California, and basically said anything so that the folks on Discord wouldn't turn their info over to the police. They claimed to speak to him and be the only one speaking to him and knew his exact location, but they would not involve Child Protective Services or the local authorities, even though they supposedly had pages of conversations that they could have used to help him and his siblings escape. It was all a lie. Blank has multiple accounts trolling everyone here and on Discord who investigates, contacts Isaiah's accounts, and refutes or questions the validity of any aspects of their game. They've accused people of gaslighting, lying like they do, and has sent incredibly numerous messages, continuous allegations, and loves to attack real ex-members of the 12 tribes. They're dangerous and disgusting. I agree with those who investigated this troll, Blank. They marginalize rape victims with their fake Isaiah story and unleashing unsuspecting people onto a legal, intentional community who are searching for a victim that doesn't exist. I am not going point for point with this troll, but they are coming at me hard and fast, so I thought it was high time I finally get it all down here for others to take the info I've shared and either walk away forewarned or do your own investigation from the beginning, starting with who Isaiah and his commenters are, instead of looking out into the world for a person who doesn't exist in a place that does. I'm not in charge of Discord, Isaiah, cults, rape victims, or Reddit users. I'm just sharing exactly what happened, and I'm not playing Blank's screenshot games. I'm a busy adult who joined other busy adults into looking into a possible rape victim in the place where we grew up and still have family and friends. Believe me, if Isaiah were real, we'd have been the first to find him and get him and his sisters out immediately. All of the info can be found if one does their own research on Reddit, so take your vitriol elsewhere and go do your homework. Blank, Isaiah, and your 50 other fake accounts. Thank you to those who support rape victims and ex-cult members. We are not legion, but we're more than a few, and we appreciate everyone who didn't abuse us when looked into the possible victimization. So, almost immediately after that post was made, the person that they were talking about in that post commented on that almost immediately afterward, and then very soon afterward, breaking a bread, their account was deleted from Reddit. So th that post is now gone, that account is now gone. Now of course, as far as we know, all of this could just be a lie for attention since it was deleted shortly afterward but there's another person who is also very closely investigating this on discord that i'm talking to who has actually done some kind of investigation into the person that we're talking about right now and they can actually confirm a lot of things in this post now obviously i censored this information out but this post included a location of where they lived which has been confirmed as the actual location of this person they included an ap approximate age of the person which has been confirmed as true and the university that was mentioned in that post has also been confirmed by the person themselves saying that they did get accepted into that university so right now, things don't look very good for this person, but I still wasn't fully convinced it was this person until 
Back in like, I think it was mid-December, I received an email from someone who was in a Discord group that I was kicked out of, and they actually have a, they sent me this screenshot right here that I'm showing right now. I've censored a lot of the, you know, telling information, but this person right here at the top that you're seeing, um, this is the person that, you know, that we're talking about right now that I suspect to be the person behind the Isaiah hoax. And in this post, the person says right here, they say, hey guys, I'm sorry for pretending to be Isaiah. So right there, they admitted to pretending to be Isaiah. However, from the rest of this, it seems like they were only pretending to be him temporarily to protect him or something, but they're still claiming Isaiah is real just for a moment they're pretending to be him, which I don't believe at all. What this post essentially proves to me is that there was at least one time where this person admitted to pretending to be Isaiah. If they pretended to be him once, I don't think it's too far of a stretch to say they pretended to be him this whole time, especially given all the other evidence toward them. I, I, I don't think this is a coincidence. And I know this screenshot is real because I've I've shown this to other people and they have confirmed this, this is a, this was an actual image. This actually was said by this person. Now, if that isn't enough, this person that we're talking about that I'm not revealing any information about, they also, uh, I heard this by word of mouth through like other people on Discord, apparently this person has threatened me and Nightmare Expo, saying that if either of us, I don't know why Nightmare Expo is involved, but they said that if either of us posted a video, like another video about Isaiah, then they were going to expose us. So I don't know what they mean by that. I don't know, I have no idea what they meant, or at least I don't know what they meant when they said they were going to expose Nightmare Expo, but for me, they essentially said they were going to make a Reddit post just saying a bunch of, like, nasty things about me. I guess saying that, um, my first video about Isaiah, I just made it at his expense because I'm money hungry or something like that. But yeah, just so you know, this person, like, really does not want this information getting out, which I think is also incredibly telling. So once again, uh, this is all my opinion. I'm not saying any of this for fact. This is just the information that we have so far. Do with this what you will. Make your own conclusions. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Almost forgot. I will see you on the flip side.